Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to, uh, You Learn Something Every Day. I almost forgot what segment I was recording here. Um, on this lovely Wednesday evening, uh, don't worry, I'll also be putting out a, um, a weekend on the same wavelength for, uh, politics, uh, hopefully at the same time, maybe a bit after I put this one out. Uh, so be sure to stop by and check that out. And today, uh, on You Learn Something Every Day, you're gonna be learning something very, very, uh, strange. You're gonna be learning about the history of chopsticks. Uh, this is going to be a very brief history, so don't worry about it. Um, now, chopsticks are, um, very commonly used now, um, all throughout Asian cuisine. Uh, we see them appear in Thai restaurants, uh, even though, uh, chopsticks, uh, are not originally Thai. We see them used uh, in Japanese restaurants for eating sushi and Chinese restaurants. Uh, so a lot of people may be confused about where chopsticks actually originally come from and whether or not, uh, or whether or not they're independent to one Asian cuisine or whether or not they all originated throughout Asia at independent times, but all serve the same purpose. Uh, and now the real scoop here is that chopsticks were invented in uh, the Shang dy Dynasty in China. Uh, the earliest evidence uh, was uh, bronze chopsticks, about 10 inches long, uh, dating roughly to 12,000 BC. Um, there's also evidence in ancient China of two long charred sticks that are suspected to have been used for uh, gathering food out of a fire. Uh, but chopsticks initially were not used for eating food, rather stirring and, uh, stirring food while preparing it and cooking it and transferring food from, uh, different plates. Um, now, chopsticks, uh, began to be used, uh, had begun to be used as eating utensils in the Han Dynasty, um, but it wasn't until the Ming Dynasty that chopsticks actually became commonly used throughout China. Uh, and then in China's further expansions and conquests, uh, the use of chopsticks then spread to areas like Japan and Thailand. Um, I know there's a common myth um, that chopsticks were initially invented in Thailand to um, transfer food from a bowl onto a spoon and then put that spoon into your mouth. That's not necessarily um, based in fact, um, how, because we know that chopsticks were initially founded in China and chopsticks are not a large part of um, the Thai food culture or cuisine. Um, However, now chopsticks have become so synonymous with the words Asian cuisine that it's sometimes hard to distinguish uh, what they're truly used for. Um, so in case you really wanted to know, chopsticks are used for transferring uh, food uh, from, well, sorry, no, chopsticks are not used for transferring food. <laughs> chopsticks are used for, initially they were used for mixing uh, food while cooking it because they allowed uh, I mean, it's, I mean, a chopstick is a rod, so it's a very good thing to just mix, um, liquids around with. They were useful for transferring food into cooking pots, uh, and they only after several hundreds of years eventually became used for directly eating food, and only then spread to other, uh, Asian countries. So that's the scoop on chopsticks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, You Learn Something Every Day, and I hope you learn something every day. If you didn't learn something today, you can be sure to uh, check out our episode two days ago and see if you learned something then, or you can stick around uh, for whenever the next episode drops and see if you learned something then. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, I would really appreciate it. Share it with your friends if you think that they don't know how chopsticks were invented and that they really need to know this. This is important stuff, guys. It's gonna come up on, like, all your standardized testing or whatever. What if you're at a job interview and they ask you how were chopsticks invented? You're not gonna get that job unless you've listened to this. So, I'm helping you out here, and I would really appreciate it, I mean, if you just took a little bit of time and paid me back by, um, checking out my other videos and liking them. Anyways, thanks for listening in, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever that may be. Don't forget to live long and peace out. Bye!